vlog. I have no pants on. And today's a busy day. Let's get started. So I'm getting ready to go to the airport. I've got my bags packed. Look, I've got a think tank airport security right there. That's the big one, and it's packed with so much stuff. And I've got my uh, Urban Disguise 50, and then this is to put the kitty in. Kitty, are you ready to go away with me? Do you want to know what snacks I pack for the airplane? Hard-boiled eggs, nuts, apples. No kitties allowed. All my bags are packed, I'm ready to go. I'm actually ready to go. Let's grab the bags and go. Okay. So what I need to do is move my car. Oh, oh. Steven, I saved you a spot. It's too early for this. Good morning. Get that shit out of my face. <laughs> Made it through security. Now off to gate B, 11. Right, I'm sitting in 10A. 10A is a cool seat. Why is 10A a cool seat? Because I have like 15 feet of space, well, 10 feet of leg room, and I definitely need it because my legs are huge. Huge, super huge. All right, terminal B. Well, we've been here for a while. It's been, uh, let's check the watch, 9.46. Two hours early. I always get here early, just in case. Yeah. Going to LA. LA, LA, LA. Ten A. That's this one. There's so much space. Look at this. All this space. I can put my feet up. Look. Yeah. Can't even, can't even kick the camera from where I'm sitting. Exit row seats, I do accept the responsibility. I will help if I need to help. Steven, on the other hand, I don't know if he's willing to help. Steven's name is on the list. Hello, hello. How That's are you? this guy. How you doing, sir? Hi. Not my name. I must have done something wrong. Only VIPs are on the on the list. <laughs> Excuse me, very important person coming. Steven Eckert. Oh, something's happening. Baggage claim. People still look at you weird. So just got to the room, four and a half hour flight, not that bad. Gonna get some work done, uh, get ready for the event that we have tonight. And that's the door. Oh, a bag. Thank you. Let's see what's in this bag. There's a letter. It's addressed to me, Jared. I will read that later, but I wanna see what's in the bag. Yes, we've got some red paper. We've got a Canon notebook for taking all those copious notes. AKA, this is like good if you're a Carmen San Diego or something like that. And let's see what else we have in the bag. A t-shirt, people on it. No, it goes from a gorilla to a, a not a gorilla to a homo sapien to a woman shooting video. Look at that, women shooting video. It's a thing. There needs to actually be more women in, in, in video and in photography doing this, getting more respect. And that's why they're number one on the t-shirt. But I will never wear this t-shirt because, Stephen, why won't I wear this t-shirt? It's not tight enough. Well, that's one reason, but it also says, doesn't say I shoot raw. All right, reaching into the bag, and there's a Blu-ray disc bending the light. Who the hell? I actually have a Blu-ray disc player. It's not hooked up because Yes. Thanks, Blu-ray yes. disc player. Yes! Yes! Oh, you had a yes. Blu-ray? Oh, can I download that I'm on Netflix? I'm so excited! Oh, good, good for you, Steven. There's one more thing in this bag. 
and it's a box. It says Canon. Let's open the box and there is a piece of foam. And there is a vibrator? Is that a vibrator, Steven? Power bank. Oh, it's a power bank. What happens when I press this button? Three, two, one. Thank you, thank, thank you, Canon. I would have preferred the vibrator. All right, guys. It's time for the trust fall. Oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't trust the bed too well, but luckily I didn't hit myself. All right, guys, it's now time for a rapid fire room tour. Here we go. Here is a bathroom. We've got a sink. We've got a bathtub. We've got a toilet. We've got a refrigerator. We got a coffee maker. We got this thing right here for putting your bags on it. We've got my desk with all that stuff. We've got a bag. We've got a king size bed. We got a wall. We got that thing. We got blinds. We've got Steven. <laughs> and we got a pool. And that is your rapid fire room tour. So Cannon took us to the top of a hill for dinner. Check out this view. How to be in an elevator. Right. Good night, everybody. Oh, good night. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my hotel room. Now, today is a big day because we're heading over to Canon's most advanced facility for repairing lenses for professionals. And we're gonna, we're gonna put them through their paces. Why? Because I've got this lens right here. This is a 24 to 70 2.8 Canon that's having some focus issues that uh, I'll tell you it's probably human error. It's not the lenses. It's definitely human error, but we're gonna take this over there. We're gonna see if they can repair it and hopefully ship it back to us. But let's get over to the facility to check out how cool it is. Can it be done? Will the 24 to 70 be fixed? We're about to find out. Very important people right here with suits on. They are taking us to where we need to go. Carefully, they're clearing the way for security. Important person coming through, very important. Have you ever heard an elevator beep like that repeatedly when it's closing? Uh. <laughs> See, there was too much weight. Uh oh. Yeah. I'm here to fix my lens. Nail, right? No. Yeah, that would be it. <laughs> That's where the Sir, Sir Sanford Center is. Oh, okay. Hello, I'm here to fix my lens. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. That was easy. Yes, sir. Awesome. And there you go. Another happy customer. <laughs> Yep. Good to see you. Grouping! Grouping! Yeah. We got a sign for you! Stop! Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, sir, what group are you? Wait, I'm group... I'm group A. I'm group A. Alright, bye. See you later, bye. Bye, group B. Bye, group B. We're going to group A. Oh, so what's pretty cool at the Canon facility here, as a professional, if you could just walk in somewhere, and get your stuff fixed, that's great. Or not fixed, but just like tuned up and cleaned, that's cool. Without further ado, I'd like to inter introduce a gentleman who had a vision and a passion, and today it is officially coming to life. Mr. Elliot Peck, Executive Vice President of Canon USA's Imaging Technology and Communications Group and Chairman and CEO of Canon Information Technology Services. The purpose of all of this is to kind of make this a beehive here of activity and uh, help support those who have a story to tell 
uh, and we're here to help them with the technical side of that support. This was a tremendous effort by many, many people to not only open the facility, but to uh, take us to the next iteration of, of our products and support. So as you tour today, you're going to see m multiple rooms, as Ellie had mentioned, a DI suite, a screening room, the service and support area, and we are welcome for you to take photos and video along the way. We're about to see a 4K projection in 1080, because I'm <laughs> using a 6D Mark II. Did you guys know that my screen is bigger at home than this? I have a 166 inch screen. This is, this is like smaller. And by smaller, I mean it's probably bigger. And it has a nicer projector that's 4K that, that I don't have yet. But I know the people to ask for a 4K projector. Can I get a 4K projector for my house? Yes. I, I got a yes. I got a yes. I didn't say it was free. Oh. <laughs> Is that lens ready yet? No. So while I'm waiting for that lens to be fixed, why don't I show you around all the other cool things that Canon Burbank has to offer. So look at this. First things first, every piece of glass that you could think of. Oh, and I can take it out and actually play. Can I take this stuff out and play with it? Yes, you can. Yes, I'm getting yeses. Well, check this out. Look at this. We got glass, glass, glass. Big ass printer. Got one of those at home. Then we've got, oh, that's a C700. Ooh, that's badass. With a big ass lens. Some more stuff. Oh, and this. I'd like to thank everybody for this award today. I, I accept it on behalf of all of you out there while we wait for my lens to be fixed. That's actually Todd's. Oh yeah, and then one of these. Okay, what's next? How about now? No. Let's go into service and support. Nope, not working. Is that gonna work? Yes, it's green! And we're in. Be very quiet. Be very quiet. Be very quiet. I have to be quiet in here or they'll yell at me. That guy. Not really. Anyway, they're, they're actually working on Todd's lens right now. Check this out. How cool is it to be able to have a facility that pros can walk into and almost get same day service? Or same day service on some things. That's what they're priding this on, is getting stuff back as quickly as possible so the pros can keep shooting and getting their job done. So this is pretty awesome. Be careful with that lens. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. So we all know that Todd's lens is back here getting fixed right now because it's having some focus issues which is probably human error. But what is super cool about this is that this is where they calibrate it. This is where they do the lens resolution. And then over here is where they would put a chart so that they can test evenness from left to right to make sure everything is, is aligned right where it needs to be. And then also they could pair it over there with a body. So you can pair your lens and your body together. Now the cool part about this is that if you're in Burbank and you're a professional, you can come to a facility like this drop off your stuff, maybe have it done the same day depending on what it is, but it's awesome that you have all of these people working here to make your stuff even better. It's gotta be ready now, right? No. <laughs> also, while you're waiting, you can check out the beautiful kitchen at the Burbank Cannon facility, where you can get mini muffins. Do you know the difference between a muffin and a cupcake? Icing. Then you can grab a cookie. Then there's a refrigerator. Let's see what's in the refrigerator. They locked it, nope. Oh, mini waters and all types of milks. You've got half and half. You've got soda. So they have lots of, Perrier? Is that Perrier? Anybody want some Perrier? No, nobody wants Perrier. And there you go. The refrigerator. I wonder if Ehrlich Bachman has seen it. Continuing on. Machine, coffee, coffee, sink, coffee. Your drinks are covered. Look how smooth that is. <laughs> Here at Cannon Burbank, they have some nice new chairs. 
Let's try them out. Is it working? Does it, it feels good. Oh look, I found it under the table. There's secrets. Look at this, look at that. That is what I want in the interior of my car. This is called Camel. It is a really nice color. It's so soft. So soft. So so No, he's so muscular. Oh. I saw that, right? Correct? This is where lenses are tested for sharpness. Does anybody have a Sharpie I could use? Oh, it's so sharp. Look at that. Ooh, look at the colors. Oh, yeah. Ooh. 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 Sharpness. Okay. Projection room. While we're waiting, we're gonna check out a 4K projector. Look at this thing. This is a 4K, I think. They said $100,000 projector, so I'm gonna be careful. Can I touch the $100,000 projector? No, I'm not gonna touch it. It even has its own exhaust fan, but check this out. They have all these server racks, something like 270 terabytes of storage, more storage than you know what to do with it, and all of this is connected in to all the wires everywhere, which we've seen outside so that you can push data all around this facility. So if you wanna watch it in one room, cool. You wanna watch it in the next room, cool. And then there's a Mac Mini. That's kind of cool. I just got a phone call, is it ready? No. I know I asked 10 seconds ago, but is it ready? No. Look at this. That is a C700. That is a, what, what, 14 and a half to 60 Cine lens that's absolutely insane. And then they have this cool setup. Look at this setup with a bunch of cinema stuff. See, what is super cool about this is that you can come here as a professional, play with the toys, test out your cinema stuff on the 4K projector, get something cleaned or fixed or tuned up in the tuning rooms, and get your stuff done. That's cool. How about now? Yes. Yay! It's ready! <laughs> ready! I can have my... Is that, is that true? No. Oh. Look what I found the ME20. This thing shoots at 4.5 million ISO. I know somebody at home who would love to over ISO something. So let's, let's go see if it's ready right now. Could it be ready now? Maybe. We're checking, we're checking, we're checking. It's checking. <gasps> it's it? This is it? This is it? This is Todd's lens. And it's in focus. And clean. And clean. Thank you. You're welcome. We're now at a special Canon party, after party. I'm waiting for hors d'oeuvres to come by. What is it, what is this? The lamb chop? <laughs> oh, it's so live. So that's about it for the Canon Mixer event. They had great appetizers. The best. So I set the meetup time for 11 o'clock and I have to like try to be late. 
It's not easy for me to be late, but I said I want to be there at 11.07 because I didn't want to be there early because I'm early to everything, but check out this view. Ooh, ocean. <laughs> see ya. There we go, we got a couple of see ya's. Oh look, I can do that and then I can be all like, woo, to that guy. Yo, it's absolutely in focus. See, it, lo it locks on. It's, I love this thing. We can all give it a wave. And wave and wave and wave. Yeah. Woo! Bye. Where's the puppy? Hello! Hello! Lick my lens! Lick the lens! Ah, ah, ah. Okay. I'm headed to the beach. Do you want to see what I'm wearing? Do you? So I want to talk to you guys about a new fashion trend here in Los Angeles. It's called shorts that are black with a black chop that says I shoot raw and then this. Brown shoes. Uh, fashion Trend 101 by Jared. Wear brown shoes. Be cool like Jared. Oh, yeah. The White Walkers are coming, the White Walkers. I have made it to the Pacific Ocean. I will stop right here at the level of where the water goes. Because I have my socks on, because the beach was hot. Who knew that the sand would be hot? It was so hot. All right. Time to head to the airport and get home. I want to thank Canon Burbank for uh, having me and let's get to the airport so I can go see Kitty. All right, so I just made it back to Philly waiting for my car to get me and then I can go Pet the kitty cat. Hello, puppy. Let's say hi to the kitty. Kitty, my last puppy. 